Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science and the LCM and GCF of 10 and 8. I like to use a factor tree, so let's get started. Let's begin. We have, for 10, we have 2 times 5, circle the 2 and circle the 5, so they are both prime. And now for the 8, you have 2 times 4 and then 2 times 2. Circle all the 2s because they're prime numbers, so you're down to prime. Next, I create a chart, and this just helps keep everything organized, okay? So what I do is I'm going to transfer all the prime numbers into the chart. So for the 10, I have a 2 and a 5. And now for the 8, I have a 2, a 2, and a 2. Now for the LCM, oops, sorry about that. What you do is basically multiply these numbers together, but follow this rule. If you have a pair, only bring down one number. So I'm going to bring down one number here. I've got a 2 here, 2 here, bring down the 5. I then just multiply this together. This is 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. And 8 times 5 equals 40. So the LCM, lowest common multiple, is 40. Now let's go over the GCF. Now for the GCF, greatest common factor, what we do is you follow this rule. If you have a pair, you bring down the pair. If you don't have a pair, you don't bring it down. So it looks like we only have one pair. So the greatest common factor of 10 and 8 equals 2. So there we go. The LCM equals 40. GCF is 2. Remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.